For 209, John and Liz. Colombia and Bolivia. Let's get started, yeah? John, uh, first of all, how old are you, John? I'm 38 years old. And you are originally from? I'm, I was born and raised uh, in Colombia, and then at 12 years old I moved to the USA and lived in Oakland, still have today. Since it's not every day one gets to speak to a world salsa <laughs> champion, what, what advice would you give to beginner salsa dancers? With beginner salsa dancers, you know, what advice do I give? First, understand what it is, what it, why salsa, why you going to classes, and in reality, is the substance of is is about meeting people and then working with people. Being in an environment that is an outlet from the work, from everything that's going on outside, out, out, out of home, out of work. The environment itself is your outlet to have a lot of fun, to have to be your time, to be your happy time. To understand that first. And after you understand that first, then take a look at the dance itself. And then learn the fundamentals, come rush anything, come rush the hands of time. Because if you do, you're not gonna have a lot of quality at the end. And the more you stick to your fundamentals and the more you learn this dance itself, um, it's gonna give you confidence. Confidence in yourself, which is gonna link into your real world and into the out into the world out there. The more confidence you have in, in, in this dance, the more confidence you have with your work, with your um, with your family, with your girlfriend, husband, because in this environment it's very social and communication is huge. So it would also help you with communication skills outside the studio. And the better dancer you are, the better you are at, uh, at being in a social environment and better at work and better at everything. John, we'd like to ask you, what kind of advice would you give to intermediate dancers? Intermediate dancers. Okay, this is very simple. Typically, beginner dancers take intermediate classes. Intermediate dancers take advanced classes. And what do you think advanced dancers do? Like myself, go back to the beginning. Go back to the basics. I myself work on my fundamentals, my basic, every day. It's not like I stand in the mirror and practice my basic for an hour, no. The way I practice is when I teach. When I'm teaching a group setting, I try to perfect my basic as much as I can while working with my dancers or my students. That's how I practice my basic, and as for you, you would practice my basic with me. So again, going back to the fundamentals, that's the way. And I know that you spend a lot of time and dedication in forming a good teaching method. Mm -hmm. uh, you have really excellent pedagogic skills as a teacher. How, how did you steer your organization into injecting them towards like a steroid of growth? Okay. Yeah, um, all these teaching methods that I was talking about, that is something that I learned in the real world. You know, working in the financial industry for five years, I learned how to teach, I learned about group dynamics, all that. So it didn't come from where I was just born with it. I really worked really hard for five years in the real world how to do it. And I implemented all those skills into into what Salsa Money is, is today. So I could, I could structure the company just like a financial company. And the one thing that you're asking me is how do you do it besides having a nice structure within the company? It's actually lead by example. Just that's it, lead by example. Your, your students would see you as their inspiration. So the better I get, the better that they're going to see it. The more I walk into the studio full of energy and they know I'm out there to help them and to make them very happy, they get inspired by that and the right people will follow you. And the people that just don't really care won't follow you and it's quite okay. So leading by example is the biggest thing. Leading by example is integrity, uh, honesty, commitment, and loyalty. Always having these core values passed on to your students, is they, they see it through, through your actions. So everything that I did, and say, I deliver. And they saw that, so people follow people, leaders that are honest, committed, and has a lot of integrity. That's how you lead it by example. My biggest advice for people that lead companies is this. When things are good, look out the window. When things are not going so well, look at yourself in the mirror. You just said that when things are going really good, that a dance company director must be able to just look out the window, and that when things are going bad, you should look in the mirror. So I understand the looking in the mirror part, but can you please explain to us from your own experience what you mean by saying when things are good you look out the window, please? 
a good example is this, you know, um, I've been working with this really uh, talented kid, and his name is Andrew, and in the last six months he became just a star in the salsa world. So he's now, and he won the world championship in the US Open, what have you. So during the world championship when we won, you know, they were presenting the trophy. You know, if I was to want to take the credibility for everything, I would just go ahead and grab the trophy. But I didn't, you know, in reality, it was, it was Andrew is the star. So I told Andrew, that's your trophy, that is not my trophy. My time, that I did what I did, which is, I got him there. And I know that. So I don't have to go out there and get more credibility for that. People know if your confidence is about yourself, people would see it. That there's a lot of credibility my way. So why would I want more credibility by just grabbing the trophy? No. ahead of us, some people are behind us. God is not going to please everyone. My time has been, has come. I won championships on my own. I grabbed the trophy. Now there's somebody else's turn. And that's being the part of having not being selfish. And the more that you're not selfish, people see that. And those are the people that are going to follow you. That's, the company is going to grow so much. So the kid has more loyalty to me because it's no, that is not about me. It's, it's about the success. See his success first. That are under me, and I'm the leader. So that's kind of how I say: give credibility to the people that have that is doing the good work. You already have the credibility because you already established the company, and that's it. Um, my last question for you, John, mm -hmm. is, and none of this has been pre-rehearsed, so I'm gonna <laughs> put him on the spot here. John, what in your many years of working and being involved with salsa and salsa dancers, yeah, what is your most precious memory? of being a part of the salsa community or being one of the founders of the salsa community? Oh my God, <laughs> yeah, you did put me in that spot. I mean, the, the most precious memory, it's like this endless of precious memory. It is so hard to pick a single memory behind it. I just could tell you, it's just the biggest thing that I have is just finding my best friend and that would be Miss Rojas. I, Liz, that was for you. <laughs> Work your show, John. Work your show. We're actually in the train, <laughs> taking him up to Hamburg so we can put him on an airplane and send him back. Um, so we just want to savor every last moment of being with somebody who's so inspiring. Actually, for those of you who don't know, John and Ricardo Sanchez are actually my inspiration. That I'm not inventing nothing. The wheel has been invented and it works pretty well. And all I'm doing is I'm copying something that John and Ricardo have already taught me and I'm imitating their example in both um, having a good dance company, uh, holding up the standards of really good dancing, making dancing a very fun activity for, for me and those around me, and last but not least, really enjoying the way that we earn our livings. 
So thank you very much, um, John. You've inspired us. Well, I'm gonna say one last thing. Um, is that everything that uh, we're sharing in reality? Somebody helped me. And the, and the biggest thing that you want to do is continue giving the gift. Pass on the gift. So this man is gonna pass on the gift to pretty much. You're gonna run into somebody who needs it, who needs uh, a little bit of guidance, and you're just gonna pass on the blood. And I hope you all will be successful. There you have it. Pass it on.